All right, guys, a couple real quick tips for you guys um, that I wanted to pass on, share with you guys, so you can go ahead and use them right away. Uh, my first tip is when you're in the arrange window and you want to create a MIDI clip, you know, uh, like a loop side, let's say a, a four measure clip, uh, all you got to do is just simply highlight the length. As you can see, this is four measures. And then once you've got it highlighted, just hit Control or, or Command, depending on whether you're using a PC or Mac. Command, Shift, M. And there you go. You've got your, your MIDI clip right in here. Next tip I want to show you is grouping. All you got to do is simply highlight the tracks that you want to group. So for me, I, I just hold down Command. and highlight the ones I want or if you're highlighting a bunch just click the first one hit shift and then click on the last one and it'll highlight everything in between once you've got that you're just gonna hit command or control G for group that creates a group track really really simple the next tip I want to show you is with the grouping what you'll notice is here for example I can automate the volume on the individual track. But when I go to the group, I don't have that option. Simple way uh, to put automation lanes in your group window is simply, for example, let's say we drop a reverb on the group. Let's drag that right in. All I have to do if I want to control the wet dry of that is right click and put show automation in new lane. And now that'll open up right in here. Or if we want to control the volume as well, I just go ahead and hit tab, right click on the volume, show automation in new lane, and that'll show both. And then I can do whatever kind of editing I'd like on the whole group. So that's how to get around that. And the last tip I want to show you here is if you've got yourself an empty MIDI track and you've got an audio track here and you want to use it as a sample. Just simply highlight the part that you want. In this case, I'm going to grab this little snare. And you could also grab a whole loop, for example, if you'd like. But then go ahead and open up your MIDI track. You see this is still kind of highlighted here, so just click and drag. And it creates a simpler instrument. And now you can uh, go ahead and play that sample in your MIDI track. And of course you can play at different pitches. Or you can change the decay or the length. And we've got that reverb going so let me go ahead and turn that off for right now. And for a little more fun, you could put on the loop. Or you could leave it as is. Just like so. So very easy to go ahead and take your audio and put it into a, a MIDI track and then control it through a uh, MIDI keyboard or what what have you. Or like I said, you can just grab the whole clip, drag it in, and then you have control over the whole loop. Very, very simple. So I hope you enjoy those uh, three quick tips.